Thomas Fuller, known as Negro Tom, was born in Africa around 1710. As part of the Benin slave trade, he was captured and shipped to America when he was 14 years old. We don't know his level of education in Africa. However, as a farm worker in Virginia all his life, he received no instruction in reading, writing, or arithmetic. He was one of the 16 enslaved owned by Presley and Elizabeth Cox of Alexandria, Virginia. They may have also been illiterate, as was common in the early 18th century. The Coxes valued Fuller and never sold him, despite being tempted to do so by many offers of large sums of money from several curious persons. For this, Fuller expressed his gratitude. Fuller demonstrated his ability to do complex mathematical problems easily in his head, like a mental calculator, and got the attention of William Hartshone and Samuel Coates in Pennsylvania. At age 70, they brought Fuller there to test his ability. the tests. Tom, please answer this question and take your time. How many seconds are there in a year and a half? Two minutes later, he answered, Massa, that would be 47,304,000. The answer was correct. Tom, how many seconds has a man lived who is 70 years, 17 days, and 12 hours old? In a minute and a half, Massa, that be 2,210,000,000 2 500,800. As one of the men was working out the problem on paper, he said, wrong, your answer is too high. To which Fuller hastily replied, oh, top master, you forgot the leap year. When the leap year was added in, the sums matched. Fuller's answer was correct. Tom. Suppose a farmer has six sows, and each sow has six female pigs the first year, and they all increase in the same proportion each year. At the end of eight years, how many sows will the farmer have? Fuller's lightning mind responded, Well, Massa, that would be 34,588,000. 806. The answer was correct. Despite Fuller's perfect answers, it appeared to Hearthstone and Coates that his mental abilities must have once been greater. They wrote, he was gray-headed and exhibited several other marks of the weakness of old age. He had worked hard upon a farm during the whole of life, but had never been intemperate in the use of spirituous liquors. He spoke with great respect to his mistress and mentioned in a particular manner his obligations to her for refusing to sell him. Mr. Coates said, Tom, it is a Pity you had no education equal to your genius. No, master, it is best I had no learning, for many learned men be great fools. <laughs>